my friends, just like a vehicle needs a good spark plug, so an evangelist is like a spark plug for the church. The church is a massive, powerful engine. Without that initial spark of ignition, that thing's dead, man. So don't hate your local evangelist. Yes. Feet get no respect, you know? But the feet of the church are the evangelists. How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel. The evangelists mobilize the church. The evangelists move the body of Christ. They expand its boundaries. So don't disrespect your feet. Spark plug is a small member, right? The least of the members, as it were. But yet without that spark, the engine doesn't fire up and the vehicle doesn't move. And the church is not a temple, it's a tabernacle. And a tabernacle is mobile. It moves through the wilderness of this world, spreading the light of God. God bless you from Nepal, folks. Love and pray for your local evangelists. Don't regard him as a little off his rocker, as a black sheep that, well, he means good, but he's probably cracked. Support your local evangelist and pray for him. He doesn't get amens and claps and offerings after he preaches, when he preaches. He gets death threats, F-bombs, insults, threats against his family. We, we get it all the time. I get people threatening to murder my family, even preaching on the streets of America. You have no idea. Unless you're on the streets, fellow pastors, unless you've ever been on the streets preaching, you have no idea what a local evangelist, what a, a, a foreign or domestic evangelist has to experience, the hostility he has to endure. So have some grace in your dealing, huh?